Okay, so this video is going to be a bit of a weird one. Not a weird one, but just it's going to be a bit hard to explain. I know how I explain things, and I tend to not explain things well. So let's give it a shot. Hop right into it. Oh! So as I'm sure you guys have noticed, all the videos from the past, like, two weeks or so. Yeah, two weeks or so have basically have been from the live streams I did last Sunday and last Monday. And while I don't hate that, I noticed something. I was very distracted with a lot of some of the videos. Not a lot of them, but some of the videos. And that led to some videos being unusable. Some of the footage being unusable. Those being when I read the comments in the first live stream and Diner Dash. Those were two pretty big videos I was looking forward to, but the footage was very distracted. I was very distracted during them. Just because of the chat and also like my first time doing things. And it kind of led me to realize that I can't live stream every game I play. Just because I think some games require more focus. Some games require more just kind of that quiet, you know? So it's a bit unfortunate because in a perfect world, I would love to be able to live stream every game. But also I know myself too well. I get distracted too quickly. Another thing I noticed was that my, uh, the footage was like freezing a lot when I took it from the Twitch VOD, and it wasn't a too big a problem with some recordings, but in others it was a very big problem, so yeah, so that kind of sucks because that means a big delay on a lot of videos, like the reading comments, god, I really want to do that reading comments video, but problem after problem after problems popping up, and I'm not able to, I'm not able to properly sit down and read the comments and give them the focus they deserve, so hopefully soon, that video will finally come out and we can get a reading comment series going. Same with Diner Dash. Um, I'm probably going to wait, like, it's been two weeks since I last played. I'll probably wait, like, maybe a week or maybe a month. Not another month, but, like, two more weeks, so it's a month total since I last played. Just so when I play it again, it's still pretty fresh in my mind. But, like, it's still fresh in my, it's still, like, new to me, even though it's, I don't know. You get, you get what I'm trying to say. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop live streaming entirely. Um, it just means that I'm probably going to not live stream games that have like story elements where I would want to be able to focus or other games like that. I might live stream like big part. I might live stream certain games. Like for example, a good example right now is Wildermyth. Um, that has a lot of audience interaction with the choices. That's probably a game I would live stream, even if it's very story based while other games, I kind of want to focus, focus into what I'm playing. And I don't want to be distracted by the chat, even though I, I love the interaction, I just know that that'll distract me too much and that'll make for less good content, you know? But I'm still gonna live stream. I'm just not gonna live stream games that like have heavy story or heavy need to focus, if that makes sense. But for games that are just a lot more like hop on, have fun, those kind of games, so I'm trying to... Like Roblox is a good example. I'll probably play a lot of Roblox on live streams or a lot of, um, a lot of games without heavy story content so I'm not distracted. By, well, if I get distracted by the chat, it's not the end of the world because I'm not missing out on, like, key story content. I really hope that makes sense. But yeah, so as for what I'm actually going to live stream, that doesn't mean that those videos are never going to get turned into videos. It's just that there's a lot less pressure now where I'm able to just play whatever game I want without worrying about needing to turn it into an upload. Because then if the what I play ends up being a good video, sweet, we get a bonus. And if it ends up being a bad video, it exists in the VODs and it exists in clips or whatever, or wherever I decide to post them. So that'll be good too. And yeah, so I definitely think this is a good, a good improvement. That also means there's going to be a bit of a delay on the reading your comments video in Diner Dash, which were the two games that I live streamed that weren't usable, but that's fine. And also I will continue to do kind of Feral for Reels and story times at the beginning of live streams as well. So those will probably still get turned into videos. I hope so. It's, it's a very complicated thing. I'm still new to the whole live streaming and video making, pro not video making. I mean, I would still say I'm new to the video making process, but to live streaming entirely, I'm new to it. So I still got to figure out what works best for me and what works best for the videos and also what works best for you guys. So yeah, I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, I'll pin a comment with a more detailed explanation, but yeah. Also, by the way, I'm live right now as we speak. I'm going to edit this video, upload, and then go live. So check that out. <laughs>